Today we have a Delica in the shop, but this time not my Delica. No, nope. this one is in for a suspected head gasket. Now the symptoms are going through about four liters of water a day, so it's pretty bad. Overheating and dumping coolant out on the ground. Pretty standard for a head gasket, but I figured this would be a really good opportunity to show you how to diagnose the head gasket. Even if it isn't this bad, this technique will usually give you a pretty good indication of whether it's your head gasket on or if you need to look elsewhere. Start out by popping your passenger seat to gain access to the radiator, cooling system, engine, all that. First thing we're going to do is pop the rad cap and have a look at it. Make sure it's in good condition. If you see a whole bunch of damage on the seal here or it's falling apart, replace this. Then perform the test. If everything looks good, give it a quick squeeze here, make sure your coolant's topped up, and have a listen. If you can hear air bypassing the cap, again, replace the cap. Alternatively, or better, would be to even take it into a shop, have them pressure test it. Make sure you've got a good cap before doing this test. Now, with the cap popped, coolant up, we know that we have no pressure in the cooling system. The engine is cold, right? This thing has not been run in about a week. We have no pressure here, everything looks good. Next thing you're going to do is start the engine. And we're not going to run it for very long, and we're not going to let it get up to temperature. Place it in gear and take it for a really quick drive. As you can see, we're fairly heavy on the throttle. You want to get the boost level up as quickly as you can, but again, the engine is still stone cold. But you'll notice if I try to squeeze this now, it is absolutely rock hard. Have a listen. That is turbo boost and combustion getting into the cooling system. If you have that, you know your head's cracked or your head gasket's gone. So that's all there is to it. Really simple test. Do it at home. Don't need any special tools or anything. The only thing that you might need, again, is to take that cap out and have it tested because if the cap is leaking pressure, it can cause overheating and you won't get an accurate reading here. It'll just vent all the pressure out if the head gasket is blown. So make sure you got a good cap, then start the engine up when it's cold. Make sure the system is fully depressurized. Take it for a quick drive, get the boost pressure up right drive it hard don't let the temperature get up though make sure the vehicle is still cold when you get back check the pressure in the system grab that upper rad hose if it's rock hard well chances are when you pop that cap off you're going to get a big burst of pressure and that's really all there is to it very simple again it's not 110 percent accurate but it's going to give you a very solid indication of whether your head or head gasket has gone bad so anyways there's your tech tip for today and your delica Till next time, have a good one.